Last year, the UN agreed to 17 Global Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. SDG 6 commits countries to providing universal access to safe water, adequate sanitation and good hygiene, together referred to as WASH by 2030. In 2015, 28% of Africans did not have safe water to drink and 61% lacked access to basic sanitation. So what will it take for Africa to meet SDG 6 by 2030? The African Futures Project looked at access forecasts on Africa's current development path and found that achieving this goal will require massive resources. On the current path, only eight countries reach a universal access threshold of 97% for water and a mere three for sanitation. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures. We promote the exploration and identification of trends and policies to advance development and sustainability. In response to this pessimistic outlook on SDG 6, we used the International Futures Forecasting System to model two scenarios that accelerate growth in WASH access. In the first, we explored what universal access would look like. The cumulative cost of this scenario is a hefty $122 billion above what countries are expected to spend on infrastructure between 2016 and 2030. But it also leads to large gains in economic productivity, adding over $525 billion to Africa's GDP. Moreover, this scenario yields healthier populations, especially in the 24 countries with the lowest access levels. By 2030, we forecast 5% fewer malnourished children in these countries and 5 fewer deaths per thousand infants. Achieving this goal, however, could divert billions of dollars away from other sectors, such as health and education. This is likely to have negative long-term effects on development. Here, the international community has a role to play in helping to offset the spending trade-offs Africa faces to meet the SDGs. Our second scenario assumes that countries spend less on WASH, balancing it with other priorities. This scenario is cost-effective, as the returns to human development in low-access countries are around half those seen under the universal access scenario for only 30% the expenditure. The trade-off here is that Africa is left with a long road ahead to universal access by 2030. Africa's leaders will thus have both benefits and costs to consider as they include WASH in national development agendas over the next 15 years.